This story isn't all about joy, it's also about pain. It's how we got our boat base camp. This story begins when Achim was in Russia for a semester abroad, living in a shitty dorm with three guys and a family of cockroaches. During that time we were looking for used boats on the internet. It really looks kind of perfect. Come on, they have really a lot of accessories and the price is amazing. Look, this is insane. This morning I was about to just study, like every day. And now they're popped up on boat offer on the internet and now I'm in the car heading off to the Netherlands looking at a boat. Is this actually ganz okay? Um viel Boot für wenig Geld? I bought this boat. We have a boat. This is ridiculous. It's crazy. There was one little downside though. We had to sail it back from Brest in France all the way through the British Channel, the North Sea, the Kiel Canal and the Baltic Sea to Rostock. This journey of about 1000 nautical miles took about 8 weeks of straight sailing. So directly when I came back from Russia I started this little adventure. We experienced heavy winds and high seas. Sometimes though it was just boring. And then sometimes, sometimes even the same day you find these little places that make you smile. Soon enough we arrived and suddenly it was winter. Not a lot was going on there. Just doing maintenance, preparing stuff. I really don't have a clue how to put it on again. At some point that's gonna be my problem too. Is filming your definition of helping? Yeah. <laughs> okay. After winter comes spring and so we were really excited to get her out of the water for the first time. We wanted to refurbish the entire hull, so a lot of work was scheduled. Whoa! <coughs> I don't have enough voice to scream. And maybe you swallowed a little bit of metal. Possible. If you wonder how he can see. Well, I see enough. So far, we haven't had an accident, so I'm good. We were making huge progress and pretty soon we could start to put on the final layer of white anti-falling paint to keep off water plants. It's kind of crazy, your boat looks super horrible and you just add a layer of paint and she's like brand new, she's just beautiful. She was finally ready, just a few fixes, small things, but nothing stopped us from going sailing right now. Look, this is super awesome. Ooh. Oh sh And that's our lovely boat. And then 
worst that could possibly happen. <laughs> Suddenly water was co co coming into the boat. One of the other moment there was like an emergency situation and I just grabbed the red the red thing and just stuffed it in. It stopped the, the water, but so right now we have to get her out of the water and I came to Rostock overnight, but I had to leave by the end of the week to take exams. And do you remember the white paint we put on to keep off water plants? It all just came off. All our hard work, all the hours we spent were worthless. And there was still the hole. It was a disaster. Even though we started working right ahead, all our feeling for readiness was just gone. Vanished. When I had to leave, it felt like we were almost done, but we really weren't. The time's just getting worse and worse here. So I found another hole. And another, and another. In total, Achim found six holes in our ship. Markus. I need you here. And when I was finally ready, finally we were able to paint, there was no feeling of winning. Just exhaustion and pain. A scary thought that we might have missed something. That there might is another hole. It really freaked me out. Finally ready. It was an incredible hard week. Incredible hard. I worked every day, 12 hours, 14 hours. Yeah, I hope, I hope everything is fixed. I really hope so. The story of how we got to our boat base camp is a rough one. But in the end, the result is important. This is base camp! Ta da! Starting, right? Crazy, isn't it? So crazy. It's the last time we said it before then. We could produce some kind of nighttime welding relaxing video series. Sure. I can definitely make like re repeating noise of me like pushing the electrode against the against the boat not being able to weld so yeah uh, at least that i think the girls will love it no doubt